Hey guys, what's up? Blacker Bricks here, back with another video, and welcome to another episode of News Thursdays. We have quite a bit of exciting LEGO news this week, and let's start it off with yet another LEGO Ideas set that has, well, not yet a set, but another project that's reached 10,000 supporters, and this is actually a working bowling alley. Um, you can actually check a little bit more of the details on this. It was actually created by a fellow LEGO YouTuber by the name LEGO Paradise. Very, very cool channel. Definitely check them out. They have some super, super cool techniques there. All right, so here we have another pretty interesting little um, offer that's going on. This is on the, uh, the Target website, and I don't believe this is available outside of the U.S., at least to my knowledge. Um, if, if some of you guys do have a Target in your area, let me know. <laughs> Um, yeah, so actually, I'll, I'll just quickly show you on the website itself what is going on. And so there are almost 127 items available. And that's really cool. So it's buy one, get one 40% off. And there are a couple of themes. I saw mainly it's Dots, Ninjago, City, and actually Mario as well. So some interesting sets if those are stuff you're into. Um, I actually might pick up a couple of the Mario sets or... Ninjago, I don't know about Mario, not a huge fan. Um, continuing on with this week's news, we obviously have the unveiling of the new NASA Space Shuttle Discovery. Um, this is going to be set 10283, releasing on April 1st, and it comes with 2,354 pieces. I I was actually really thinking about the set because I was wondering whether I should pick it up or not. And <laughs> honestly, there's so many great sets out right now that it's just unfortunately it's not high up on my list enough to actually have me go pick it up first day. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm actually kind of curious to, to hear that because I definitely like the set. I think it is pretty cool, but it's not going to be one of those first day pickups for me. And there are actually very few sets I've picked up like that first day. It, it does look really cool. We have another picture. Here's going to be on the back. I think the black background here actually lends itself very well to the whole space idea. And it looks like that actually fits inside. I, I wonder, because I really hope that a lot of it isn't just that facade over there and it's just completely hollow inside. I hope they have some cool little details. It definitely looks great. And it comes with that awesome uh, little card. And, oh, really cool. It comes with a stand as well, an angled stand. So this is going to make a great display piece. Now, this is the Modular Portal Testing Chamber. It's another LEGO Ideas project that has reached that 10,000 supporters mark. I am not sure. I know they have worked with Portal before. That was, I think, the LEGO Dimensions. But not completely sure if this is going to get uh, very far. Let's see, though. Definitely curious. So you actually have the designer video. Again, I'm just going to play it. Unfortunately, I can't really use the volume because I'm using headphones. And uh, yeah, this looks like a super cool set. Let me actually show you a little detail that will connect to us. This is the designer, Milan Madge. Hope I pronounced that right. So yeah, this actually kind of brings us right into our uh, next piece of news. And if you guys can... Sorry. Let me see if I can... Yeah, so in the in the video... Oh, wow, this is really not very good, is it? Sorry about that. I'm just going to try and pause it. <laughs> You're right. Okay, so you guys can see right over there, they actually have a helmet. And there was sort of a rumor that, I, I think that's the Star Wars helmet. Uh, it's, well, not the, there's many Star Wars helmets. That's one of the many Star Wars helmets there are. And there were some rumors going around that, oh, are they going to create a life-size Lego Star Wars helmet? And, uh, well, we haven't heard any definitive news just yet. And to be honest, I don't know if LEGO would do something like that, really just because it it would be kind of a departure from everything they've done in the past. I mean, I could be completely wrong and they might release something just like that, but I don't know. I, I think that's an interesting rumor. Um, so we actually saw these pictures. They came from Walmart, interestingly enough. And this was actually before we got the official pictures from LEGO. And we have Darth Vader. We have a Scout Trooper. And then we have an, Imperial, an Imperial Probe Droid. So this one, the Darth Vader has the most number of pieces, 834. And it looks amazing. I think they did a really good job with this. There's a lot of expression. And although it is just a mask after all, it has a lot of life to it. It doesn't feel like just a bust. Um, the angles are done very well. I think that is really spectacular. I think those might be fender pieces used over there. And in general, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. 
Same thing with the Scout Trooper, as I've said probably hundreds of times on this channel. I don't really consider myself a huge Star Wars fan. I don't pick up any of these sets, but I think they have done a great job. And I know enough about Star Wars to know what the Scout Trooper and Darth Vader helmets look like. I'm not actually very familiar with the Imperial Probe Droid, so I can't tell you how well uh, they've done on this, but it definitely looks cool. And um, we'll get more to that in a little bit. So here's actually something kind of different. It's the Video Beat Bit Tour. Um, this is actually on the LEGO website as well. You can search it up. I think if you go to video and press on Beat Bit Studio Tour, this is going to be... Uh, actually, I'm going to click on that. And let's quickly take a look at it. Um, I should probably mention that this is a North America tour, and I'm actually glad to see that it's not just the United States. I see um, both Canada and Mexico, and yeah, let's go over it. So we have Salt Lake City, I think that's in Utah, uh, Thursday, April 8th to April 11th, and that's actually pretty close. I'm surprised that they've done it this late. <laughs> And that's going to take place at the Olympic Plaza at the Gateway, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. So I don't really think this is going to be anything more than just a um, something like they have shown. Where was it? Right over here. I, I'm almost certain that this is not an actual picture and this is just some sort of rendering or model of what they expect it to be like. And uh, I don't see a ton of details. This is a primarily contactless experience. Very cool. Um, okay, we have some policies, very nice, and I, honestly, I don't know exactly what's going on here, I think this is some sort of, let's, let's read, does it say anything? Not anything super, um, specific, then we have Denver, that's gonna be April 29th, exact location time to be announced, New York City, Toronto, Vancouver, Los Angeles, and Mexico City, so, kind of all over. And, uh, yeah, I, I want to see if, if any of you guys go to one of these, I might actually go to the new, the one in New York city. I doubt I'd go there just for that. I, I might go there for a weekend or something, see how it is and, uh, just check it out if, if I'm there, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, this is actually pretty interesting down here. Guests will receive a free Lego video backstage pass redeemable at these stores. We have the Salt Lake city, Denver, and for New York City, there are a ton. So we have the Lego Flatiron, Flatiron or Flatiron District, Lego Store Fifth Avenue, Store the Mills at Jersey Gardens. Actually, my one of my local stores, so that's very cool. Uh, store Staten Island Mall, uh, Garden State Plaza, and then Roosevelt uh, Field Mall. So these are valid May 13th to June 13th. These are April to May. And then again, April to May. So that's interesting. Um, I actually already have the backstage pass. So I doubt I'd go there just for that. But interesting stuff going on. Um, not really what I expected, but cool regardless. So this is something I am very excited about. And this is another contest on the Lego Ideas website. So the lego house is located in denmark and they have done quite a few contests before but they have another one and i'll just quickly go over just this part we're challenging you to build an entry that is either an alternative nature build show us the best of nature with something a little different a fun lego minifigure or mini doll scene show off a lego theme of your choice in a mini scene can be uh, everyday life, humorous or wacky, and then an architecture build. So this is a little bit new. Using incredible buildings, structures, or your imagination, build an architecture style model. Now, let's just quickly look over some of the, the dates and the deadlines for this contest. I'm just going to try and head over there. So it opened up March 23rd. It's been actually just two days. It's uh, open until March 28th. So we have over 33 days. Expert review goes from the 20th to the 5th. Crowd vote, something very interesting. And then winner announcement on May 20th. So it actually looks like they're going to be doing, I think, 25 uh, winners across three categories. And that's really cool. The grand prize winners will take this home. Um, and yeah, there's, there's all these rules and fine print and everything. I think we have, yeah, so that's a grand. We have two runners up and then all other entries so any entries that make the fan vote will receive the lego house set so regardless that's a super super cool opportunity for anyone that is designing or interested definitely check that out i can promise you that i will be submitting many many entries to this contest now this is an image of the crooks hideout i do apologize i think this is called the city crooks hideout and we had this image sort of released or 
I don't know if you want to call it leaked, but we saw this image a while ago. And as most of you know, we haven't really heard anything else. And Lego just recently came out with a little bit of a statement that they are actually not going to release this set. Now, they have stated that this is because they don't feel that this is this has very good brand fit and that they don't really want to create sets like this. And I really don't want to get too much into the actual uh, discussion of the Crooks hideout and what that means and everything. I'm really just providing uh, objective news. You guys can take from this what you want. And um, I don't want to make this into a into a whole thing. Anyways, going on. We have the Lego Arcade. This is on Ideas, another project that has reached 10,000 supporters. And I really like this, actually. It's simple, but elegant. I wish it had more floors, and I'd love to see the inside, but I guess I'll do that on my own time. Pretty cool set. Now, here we have the Ulysses, or Ulysses, uh, Space Probe. This is going to be a VIP exclusive, and this was written about in the, uh, the press release for the NASA Space Shuttle Discovery. And uh, we don't have any pictures or specific details. What we do know is this is going to be an exclusive and it's probably going to go out of stock fairly quickly. I don't know if it's going to be a set. Probably is going to be a set. And yeah, I'm going to keep my eyes out for this one. Yeah, so this morning, these were officially, officially revealed by LEGO. We have the Darth Vader, Scout Trooper, and then the other one I spoke about, I think Imperial Droid. They're actually available on the Lego shop and it says add to bag. I will clear up any misconceptions. It is a pre-order. It's going to ship on April 26th. So just about a month from now, they have a limit of two and it's still in stock as far as I can see. Um, yeah, so the three new ones, I don't think anything else is super new. So I'll actually be dropping links to all of these in the description. I'll also leave a link to the, the target offer and I, I guess the beat bit... <laughs> the beatbit tour dates if any of you guys are interested so yeah that really wraps up this week's news thanks to guys thanks guys again for tuning in i really hope this was interesting helpful and i look to hear from you guys very soon thanks again and have a fantastic day